Good morning, guys. What's good? It's your girl, Jasmine Sharde, here with a Motivational Wednesday post. It may be a Motivational Wednesday, or it may just be me venting or spilling some tea. Either way, give me a second. I'm trying to um, pay my bills for the month, and then we'll be back to it. that popped up this time and said um, I will release the things that are out of my control and I feel like that quote applies to me every second of every moment of every minute of every day of life because I am a person who fully believes in God, my focus is on God I know everything works out of his timing for his reason how it works and still, I put everything on my schedule. And if it doesn't happen by this time, by this date line, this and third, something is wrong. And that is something I've been working on my whole life. I'm not 28 years old. I just had a birthday. Um, 31, 32, 33 days ago. And I'm still battling the same issue with focusing on what I can control, which is very little. Because God controls everything. God determines when you blink, how you blink, what you say, when you say it, how you say it. I mean, you have those choices, but if he doesn't tell you it's okay for you to do it, then you can't do it. Right? Cool. So, for me, I am type A personality kind of thing. I'm a tad bit OCD. I like to have organization. I like to have control of things. It's probably a reason why I don't fly. And I feel like I've said this before. Um, I hate to fly. I fly because I take trips, but well, I hate to fly because I feel like I have no control. And speaking from personal experience, speaking from experiencing these things through other people, if you let go and let God, dang it, if you, even if you don't believe in God, if you just focus on what you can do and the rest of it just left up, just let it go, it will be so much easier. We'll go through so much less heartbreak. So much less about our feelings being hurt, all these other things that are going on. Yeah, listen. Like I told you, I'm three months and some days past my relaxer, and I'm trying to just hold out because, like, I have a bunch of new girls, but my hair is not unbearably um, unmanageable, unbearably unmanageable. So I had my mom put me four braids in, a little bun at the back. And because my hair, I have so much new growth, we greased it down and we put a lot of edge control on, so that's why it looks like a little stiff. But as long as the curls stay down, we need it. So that's why I'm looking the way I'm looking, you know. But, um, and I'm currently at work. Yeah, I've seen my office before. But that is the message for today. Quick, short, simple, straight to the point. Learn to control the things that you can't control and the rest of it, leave it up to God. And if you don't believe, it up, believe in God, leave it up to him. Whatever. Um, things work out easier. I mean, I'm not telling you don't plan because how do you go through life and not make plans? But the point is, the main objective, everything, like I told you, everything I do goes back to church. Make your plans, but finish off that statement, finish off that sentence, that hope, that dream, that prayer with if it's the Lord's will. God, if you allow this to happen, if you see this fit to happen, this and that. That way, you want to be like making blank promises to yourself or to other people. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then it doesn't work out. You didn't do it. Because now you made just a vital liar. So set those goals. Set those dreams. Do what makes you happy so long as it's not anything illegal or wrong or hurting to the next person. And then finish it off with 
if it's the Lord's will or, or if it be some fit by you, God, or whatever the case may be. And the rest of it, I mean, you can only do what you have to do. You can only do what you can do. And the rest of it, you can't, you have nothing else to go with. So, um, that's a nugget for you and for me. You know sometimes when you be over here trying to give information or, 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 um, insight or whatever to somebody else and you be inside yourself. Like, I'm inside myself right now. <laughs> But that's the message for today, guys. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday. Hopefully, I have my videos recorded ahead of time. And I won't be late with any postings. So, that's it for me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And stay tuned for my entrepreneurial videos and my steel petite videos because the tea is coming, okay? And, oh, your girl's still unmarried, still not dating. I actually just cut off all my boobs. That's the video. Have a great day, guys.